So good afternoon and welcome everybody. Hi all out there. This is me Varun Rao on another session on Tech Tablet and in today's session let us take this topic SE11 forward. Um, we would discuss what is a table maintenance generator and we would look at the concepts of SE11 that is a map data dictionary right. So I hope you're all enjoying the sessions that are being posted uh, out of passion just to help a few if in case you're looking for any training then you can always let us know or write to us uh, on the website or you can write to us on the comment section below apart uh, it's really you know been a great journey training you know or, or, or sharing my knowledge a little whatever I have with all of you I uh, see some great responses you know it's really overwhelming to know sometimes that it's being of some use to some people Though it might not be useful for people who have already started working or who are, who are looking for some very se serious stuff, but then yes, this is a platform. Uh, initially, at least for beginners, probably as we go ahead, we uh, we would be as uh, finding time to you know post something which is of more higher level. And if in the meanwhile, if there are any contributions from any of you, then it's always welcome. There's no stopping to it. So yeah, let's go ahead and look into the table maintenance generator in the last session we have created a table uh, zemp and we've seen how to maintain records in a table correct um, in this session let us just go one step further and we have something called as utilities right so inside utilities you have something called as a table maintenance generator in the previous session we saw how to you know uh, take a look at the list of tables but then here uh, at, at the, uh, take a look at the list of entries that we've created in the table but then uh, the biggest disadvantage that we would have when we create in this way would be you would not be able to create more than a single record at a time so in order to create more than single record, you would be requiring something called as a table maintenance generator, right? Now this table maintenance generator in here, it would have an authorization group that you would have to enter, followed by a function group that you'll have to give. Uh, the maintenance type has to be given. So you have two variants of maintenance, one step and two steps. Now, if you have uh, data which is of minor content, which is not very huge, now that we have only three to four fields, uh, we would, you know, I, th I think if we use one step, that should be enough for us. All right, now let us just start with authorization group. Uh, um, so here you have the F4 help, all right? You can just select whatever you want from the authorization group. All right, we'll go with the first one. And the authorization object has already been given. So here let us enter some function group said test, all right, Z test. Uh, again, when you come back to your over screen, uh, overview screen, you would be having overview screen and a single screen. We would be selecting on the overview screen. All right, now to do that, you have an option of, you know, find a uh, screen number. Okay, you can do that. But before doing that, you have two options here. That is recording routine. Now, what is this for? Recording routine is generally used uh, when you want to, okay, now recording routine, standard recording routine is used when you have assigned it a package, all right? But we would be using a local package, right? So let us stick to no user or uh, recording routine. Now let us go ahead uh, and click, you know, find the screen number. So here you would be having three options, propose screen numbers, display free number ranges and list number screen. So you or you can also, you know, come up with various list of screens that you're looking for. All right, so now this is an option that you have. Out of these three options, now I would be going for propose uh, screen numbers and click on okay. So it's proposed a screen number for me, which is one. Right, so table maintenance generator, just to give you an overview or just to define what it is in a single line, it is used whenever you want to, uh, you know, feed more than one single, uh, one entry. If you want to enter a chunk of entries at a time, in that case, you can, you know, just go ahead and uh, do this, all right? You can uh, create 
a table maintenance generator and that would help you uh, take or load values in bulk and this would uh, come to you very useful uh, when you want to enter a lot of data in a single shot all right so now once you are done with this okay so you have entered this and now you can assign it a package all right we would be using a local package all right i am not able to see the package here Well, for some reason, the recording got blocked. I think it was the internet issue. So you have two options. You have standard and recording routine. So we will be going on no or uh, user or, you know, we don't read a recording routine because we will be saving in, a, you know, a local package. And as you're able to notice, I don't notice, I, I don't, I'm not able to see any package here, right? And here, ideally, we should be having a dollar TMP, which would uh, give us our local package. So in order to do that, we once we've given all the details, you have a create button here, right? So now you would be clicking on this create, which would uh, pop up the dollar TMP for us. Now you can just save on this and it will give you, you know, assign a valid package and then you'll have to, you know, give a lock overview. All right. And then you would be able to see that uh, you know your uh, data is now saved you would now have the <clears throat> dollar tmp values which you would be able to see on your uh, screen in the back end all right so yeah that should do the thing for us it's now generating uh, the object would now get generated in the back end now, what would be happening because of this? Because of this, we would be able to see a, uh, that a bulk of entries can be entered and we would be having a different variety of screen um, on the output. The UI would differ and we shall notice that four to five entries can be updated in one single go. And how do we do that? We'll just see that in a second, the moment uh, the, the object is generated. This should take not more than next 10 to 20 seconds. So let's just be patient for a second. Okay, now it says it's without limits. That's not a problem. Great, so now what we'll do is let me Okay, then now that it's active, let me go to utilities and table contents and let us go to create entries. Okay. Now it is getting compiled as you're able to see SAP LZ test is getting compiled in a separate task and we'll see what effect that would have in the way we can enter some entries now again this would take 10 to 20 seconds because it's the first time that's being generated this would take just a while before the main screen comes up right so here i have my main screen and we are able to see that uh, we have three spaces all right and these three spaces are for uh, three different entries and now you can just go ahead and add new entries so this would come up this way now i would be having an id like 300 john and his age is 50 
All right, 400. Um, Rahul and probably his age is 30 and 500. Um, you know, some other name. We already have John and Thomas, so Alex, who is 22, right? Now, once you've done this, uh, you can just click on save and you know your, your data is now saved you can just go back and you would see that your uh, data is now coming up for you you have all the entries that have been created and your table is now generated so this is how you can work on different entries and you know you can uh, play around with a whole um, you know list with a whole variety of you know, experimentation on the SAP ABAP surface. So this is table maintenance generated in this session for you. So I hope you've learned something uh, and this would have helped you a bit in understanding SC11 a bit further, right? So if there's any queries that you have, please uh, use the comment section below. And if you have liked what's being displayed for you, Please hit the like button as it would, uh, it would definitely encourage us to go further. And if you're looking for regular updates, you have the follow button, which is the subscribe button uh, with the bell icon. You would be having regular notifications if you hit that. And if there's anyone whom you feel that this might help, then please do share this video as that's the main motive of uh, these sessions, right? And in the upcoming video, we would be looking on further concepts of SE11. We are not yet done with SE11. And then we have the table, uh, the reports to be handled with. So I hope you have enjoyed the session and learned something new today. Do stay subscribed to this channel, Tech Tablet, as there is a lot yet to be exchanged between us and a lot of knowledge yet to be shared. All right, so have a great day out there and all the very best. This is Varun Rao logging off.